my property, I could go for free. And, and where do you live specifically? 1777 Southwest Kemmer. Across from where you're putting the sewer, across from the house that lost all the trees because there's so right, much wind. Right, right in this vicinity here? No, across the street. Here? Oh, wow, got it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old farmhouse, yellow. Somebody mm -hmm. in a nice Cadillac, great, great suit, took my trash, my recycle, off the street, which I'm offering a swing for free, anybody, it's on the street, put it in my trash can so they couldn't take my recycle. So you guys have an idea of street appeal, okay? Buy my property, paint the house, but you're doing nothing for me, except for great eye contact. Well, we're, we're going to have... You're going to have a sewer here to connect to, which would provide right. you the that's oh, that's yeah, that's Well, it would provide her the opportunity to, re there, to develop not, her land. That is not where an today she doesn't have it. That is not an opportunity because I'm the CC. The CC says my quarter acre has to remain quarter acre, one house. I can develop my house into something bigger. The sewer costs me money. I'm happy on my 1930 septic tank. Okay. Very happy. What I'm not happy with is the fact that Weir Road is not being developed from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. Not happy about that. You have a street going through to Camera Road. Mm -hmm. Not happy. It should be the opposite way. Flow it through. We don't have a street going through to Camera Road. Then who does? The yellow? We do not. Green? No. You said Camera Road. Here's Camera Road. Yes. And that's we do, being we do not have a street connection to Camera Road. Okay. So you might not. So you're not connecting your development with the other development, which can go to where? Where does yours go to where? At some point, at some point in the future, that road will oh, be extended right. when this future. land develops. Future. I've been here 37 years, <laughs> and Weir Road has been promised. The future in 37 years hasn't happened. Well, the there hasn't. Part of the reason I think it hasn't. I, I mean, your questions are well taken, and I understand the frustration. No. This land's in the UGB, but it's developed in rather rather large home sites. You and now those home sites are redeveloping. You home somewhere else besides where this is working. If you fought at the developer conscientiously, you would take your property and empty it into Weir Road with this project, not in the future. Well, we are right here. So No, no, no. no. It's still going on. on. It's, it's the right <laughs> turn only. The approval that was given for your first phase demands a right turn only. You are not taking any, any of these houses to exit on the uh, easterly side. To one That's right, we're not. Yeah, okay then. That's right, so, we're not. So no. was it at, at an earlier meeting we discussed yeah. that and that option had been talked about and what was said was that it cost too much for the developer to go That's that correct. way because the homeowners would not allow it. So he's basing it on his cost rather than on the well, best doesn't, solution. Doesn't everybody? No, do no, that? no, no, yeah. no, you know. no. Have you, how long we would have all you be been dead. Well, you're, 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 you're not. You're not correct. Right no, I'm here. I was here a well, year ago. Well, let, let, let me explain. Yeah, exactly. Just, just let me clarify the cost. The cost of no. Let me, this, this lady brings up yes. a conversation that took place a few months ago. I was the one who asked that question. Okay. I know. All right. Well, let me explain to you. This land right here has a long, skinny neck that goes out to 170th. Right. Right. I know that road. I walk it. The right of way on the north side of Weir Road is 20 feet from Center Rock. Okay. It needs an additional 17 feet. These people did not have any interest in dedicating that land, even though they would have been paid for it. Okay. All right? If we had to build Weir Road along this alignment within the existing right-of-way, and you live up there, you know what yeah. it looks like. It's a hill and dale sure. kind of a thing. Well, that requires retaining walls. Sure, well, that's fine. Huge retaining walls. Fine. I have a property. Fine. Those, now, let me finish. Yeah. Those retaining walls and that road construction because one, we don't abut it, and two, it doesn't exist, would have been the cost of it paid by the county. Fine. Okay. Matter. But that is not that's, not, that's not money well spent. That, that's money because what happens in the future 
when, the, when this property develops and the right of way is acquired, those retaining walls have to be thrown away and torn so down. What? So what? It happens all the time. Well, it doesn't happen all it the time doesn't. if you think your way through it. Modifications happen well, all it, the time. Well, it's, it's money that would just be wasted. Oh, come on. What are you that talking right. about, come is on? That, is that a reason? It's your money as well as it's my oh, money. Now you're defending question. my money. But but you spent your, your money the way you, you want. You were defending That's your question. money. Yes, ma'am. That's the left of the property known as north. The south of the property is not shown on Weir Road. There is land on the south part of Weir, even if you don't develop Weir equally on both sides, you could take Weir with a slight curve and develop the south part of the property. This fellow right here, I believe his name is Scorties, mm -hmm. was contacted about doing something along the line of what you're talking about. He is so mad at the county that he doesn't even want to talk. So he said no. So what we had was the people on the north and the people on the south that said no, we don't want it. We don't want to. We don't want to accommodate the county in any way. Yeah, but on my street it's ultimate domain. You can take on my property up to the porch because it's the old farmhouse on an old road. Forty feet from the middle is my porch, and that's ultimate domain to make a standard road. But you're over here. That you're not on Weir Road. You're over here on camera. It's a different animal. Yeah. We don't front on camera. Okay. I'm saying the county made it in Ontario. The county can do whatever they want. They don't have to have landowner approval to make anything a street or an Ontario. Well, that's not really true. It is very true because I've talked to them. I've even said, take part of the land, put that uh, retaining wall up, even it's going to be high because I'm on the downslope, make it safe for the joggers, the bicyclists that I see go past my house, make it safe for them, and, and make it a good road that actually, with a sidewalk, will go to the top of the hill, which is 175th, and people can go safely to the park. Well, the county has some challenges. They may have challenges, but what I said is true. Well, I'm sure it probably is. All I'm saying... No, it, it, it is true. I've talked. I said it probably is. It is true. Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Why couldn't you foresee all of this 20, 30 years ago when Intel was starting to boom, the tech industry was starting to boom? They did, and they zoned well, R6 on top of a 750-foot high hill. They went with R6 25 years ago. That is your Washington County greed and foresight. So. I, I think one of the big things here is when uh, Camera Ridge 1 was proposed and this design was done, it was for 55 homes in the uh, original Kemmer Ridge one. And so this whole issue of the going down to the left on uh, Weir was really not in the design. Should have been. No, now but, but, but gentlemen, wait a minute. A year, ago, he, uh, a year ago, he promised to take the traffic to 170 years. That's right. And then yeah. later on in the, in the application, we discover he changed his mind and took it to 175. I, I well, think this is why, you're, why your neighbors are particularly upset, it. is because yeah. now that you're now pro proposing Kemmer Ridge 2 plus Kemmer Summit, mm -hmm. and you've done the clear cut on top of that, now you have a pretty upset uh, existing residents. Well, sure, because, because we don't trust them. So now you don't have... <laughs> he tells us one thing, but then he applies for a different thing. Yes. Are you the developer? I am Wait, trustworthy. So are you and, the and developer? first of all, I am trustworthy. Where is the developer? So this is why... Where is he? Why well, he's not right here right now. Yeah, but well, why didn't well, he show up and well, give us... Let me clarify something. You used the word promise. I did not Yes, promise. you did. Listen, it is not my... You listen to me. It is not my position to promise anything. Then why we, pro you? we proposed doing uh -huh. something. What we found in the analysis was that it was throwing money away trying to do it, and the people on either side were not cooperative, so we said, we'll go this way, and we'll fix the safety problem down here, and that's money better spent. Wait, that's why we changed the rate. You do not need anything other than access. You don't have to build up Weir Road to this uh, county standard. All you need is access to get those houses and your development True, in and out. Driveway. You don't have to build it to the full width. Exactly. And it driveway. is the county which is saying that you are the one who has chosen to go out towards 175th and they cannot stop you because of their regulations.
regulations. Well, you're so it's really a question of cost out of your pocket. You have chosen to go no, that way because no, it's cheaper. No, no, you're wrong. Well, that's what the county plan. Well, we would have been reimbursed, ma'am. We would have been reimbursed. Bro the pro I'm talking. That's good. The problem yeah, is, good. is that the cost and the throwaway costs that were part of building that road within the existing right-of-way was not money well spent. And, and the other thing is, is that you could not build it along the vertical alignment the way that land is shaped in there right now. It had to be cut and it had to be filled in order to be able to come up with a vertical alignment that meets county standards. How much difference in money are we talking? A few hundred thousand dollars. How much? A few hundred thousand dollars, probably two hundred and fifty. We're going to have to pay a bond to get the new traffic light put in at 175th and Kemmer because of all the traffic that this has kicked up. We're going to have to fork out out of our pocket. Well, you save a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Wow. You call that a fair deal? Uh -huh. Eight hundred. That is called big. It was switch. county money that we were spending. No, 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 no. Your money. But Be honest. Okay. It I, was our money, but being reimbursed by the right. county. So the ultimate expense Excellent. was the county's. I think we we are the county. Take the deal. What? <laughs> we are the county. So pay. take the deal and be reimbursed. What? Take the deal and be reimbursed. You said you'd be reimbursed. Take the deal. I'll call Al tomorrow and say, reimburse them. They're willing to take Weir Road all the way through. Reimburse no. them. No, that's not, that is not, one, where we are today. We are completely designed and the plans are in for approval right now. But Building Weir changing. Road to the west and solving the safety problem on 175th. Okay. When you solve the safety problem, are you going to get rid of the collection pond at the firehouse? No, that's not our property. Just saying, you're solving some sort of safety. It doesn't seem to matter. The pond isn't a safety issue that I'm aware of. Well, it's on uh, Weir Road, and that's going to go through. It's not on Weir Road. It's on the fire station's property. Yeah. Well, I just don't know what you're doing. That's all. Well, Bill? Yes? Uh, just a suggestion, since we've used up half our time already, is maybe you could tell us what you were going to tell us, and then we could have a question and answer, rather than... Well, one we we don't, I don't have confidence in what well, he says. Well, just write it down and ask well, him at the Because he, he, he's not the developer. We have signed up on every sheet of every We never get notified of your changes. We did not uh, get this flyer. This lady lives across the street from me. You don't keep us informed, so there's yeah. no point in writing down yeah. the questions. We tried to get through to you tonight because you wrote yeah. down Cooper Mountain Middle School right. on the notice. Yeah. Nobody was answering their phones at 4 o'clock, and we were telling all our neighbors we don't know which school it's at. I didn't know it was so, in the library until I asked the custodian. There's no sign outside. Yeah, you're right, there isn't. Is this a, the door wasn't open either. A missing mm -hmm. link as far as information is concerned. That is why we feel we have to ask our questions now or never get them answered. Well, I agree, and, 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 and I'm very glad to try and answer your questions. It's just that when, when, when certain questions are posed and, and talked about that are not factually correct, I have to try and correct them. Well, the county's saying one thing and you're saying another. But look at this now. When the traffic leaves your property, they're going to have to go out right. There's a restriction in the approval. They've got to turn right. That means that anybody who's headed south in the direction of Shoals Ferry is going to have to circle that entire block until they start to head south. Mm -hmm. So you're increasing the traffic by, I don't know, fivefold as to what it will be anyway, simply because of the direction that you have chosen because it's going to cost you another $200,000 to go in the other way. And I counted. We're asking you to rethink it. But what, I, what I explained as far as the expense of building Weir Road this way was the constraints of not being able to have additional right-of-way and having to build retaining walls that later would have had to been torn down and thrown away and rebuilt. Yeah, but and you're rebuilt being yeah. at so another you're line. You're being reimbursed. That's just, that's just yeah. silly money. You're being reimbursed. What? But it's can it, look. It's, okay. You know, I pay taxes. You take your wallet out and you throw it down. You know. I got it right here. What do you want? 
Give me, give me three hundred thousand dollars. We'll start tomorrow. What do you want? Because I tell anyway, you, it doesn't make any difference. Oh yeah, it does. You know, it, the who county, the pay? county says, where can we spend no, this money? Who did you pay? Where can we spend this, this money who most effective, pay? most effectively? Who what did would you, you pay? Do? How many lawyers do you have? Yes, sir. Bill John uh, Curley, I live me, in I'm leaving Excuse because me. this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's getting out of hand. I don't know who you are, but I'm, I'm, I'm a neighbor. I've lived up here 30 years. Right? I, I trump you 37. But we need to, we I'm, need I'm to not going to stick I around and listen to everybody. Do I have the floor? Yeah. Excuse you me. Do. You do. Okay. My wife and I live at 985 Southwest 170th. Our property affronts uh, 170th. Okay. Uh, Kimmer's Summit will be directly behind on the back west side of our property. We okay. did not receive any notice. I want that on record. This is the first I have seen this notice. I'm sorry. Okay. The question, Bill, is we have an existing I'll, I'll your easement. In a we have an easement. Uh, it's uh, yeah. shared by three neighbors. The Millers sold their property. It'll be the Vogies and the Curleys on either side of their easement. Uh, if you're familiar with that, that goes out to 170th. Yes, I, I was listening okay. to this lady and half listening to you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I understand. Where, where is your property on 170th there? It is lot to the west of that easement. You can go up and point, because that would be great. What easement are you speaking of? No. Well, it doesn't show on your chart. You failed to show it on your could chart. You, could you tell me your name? Curly, P-E-H-R-L-I, John this C. This is my lot. Okay. You have a easement that was recorded. You have, an, both, e you have no, an easement. We own the property. No. Yes. Part of the easement is on our property. I'm sorry, Mr. Well, McGonagall. Be, it be. is recorded in Book 1165, page 287 to 289, okay. recorded in 1977. Oh, fine, I acknowledge that. Okay. We own the strips and there's an easement on top of them. That's right. Okay. It's a 20-foot wide easement. Uh, it's for access to the property to the north and the south of the easement. Mm -hmm. it, each property, this is the record, agrees to indemnify and defend any other parties from any loss, claim, or liability arising from any other party from any acts or omissions for use of the easement. What I'm asking you, and that was my question about drainage, because I have looked at the profiles through here. There is drainage through here. That is why I asked you how you were controlling the drainage through here. I want to know, do you have any intention of running any utilities or doing any work in here in your proposal? No. So you are, and you said drainage, the drainage flows down this way, so you are going to collect all of the drainage and run it into this basin That isn't here. what I said. What, yeah. I, what I said was, is from right about where that red line is, just about where those numbers are, would be where the backyards of the homes are. Okay? Everything west of that, of roughly that line, the homes, the driveways, the rooftops will flow to a underground collection system that will be built here in this road. The, the, the overland flow that presently is here will be a fraction of what it is, to, just listen now, be a fraction of what it is now because the homes are going to be collected and drained into the street. And all of the land here that formerly, that today, drains that way will also be collected. So the only portion of any overland drainage that will occur here will be from about right there to the east. Okay, I am telling you, as part of public testimony, I, as the property owner of this, have concern about a drainage proposal okay. that goes and allows drainage across my property. Drainage. If It'll, you just been overland saying flow, this overland flow across my uh, property. Already occurs. I'm it's already you, there. I am telling We're not you, disturbing it. I want a study that tells you we will prepare. We will management. prepare a drainage study that satisfies Clean Water Services requirements and Washington counties. Right. I'll guarantee you that. I you do. can have a copy of it. I, I Bill, continuing here. Margaret, may I? Yes, please. Yes, yes I would. The, the top, you're familiar with it, we're talking about this driveway easement, you understand what we're talking about now? Are you talking about Weir Road? No. It, no, it goes oh. out on, it goes Here? out on the 170. Yes, we're right, okay. Midstream on, I'm with across you. from the new subdivision, the uh, Red Rock. Yes. Anyway. Um, it's my understanding that uh, with the, the Millers who are vacating their property and sold it to the developer, uh, that the top of that driveway will be bulkheaded off and, uh, and 
close at this location here at the top of well at the property at our property western property line where the where the, there'll uh, probably be a fence up. there it would continue on presently now it continues on to the miller property above yes they're they're going to be gone and you're going to develop that property correct so my question is will that driveway be permanently terminated there uh my concern is will there be any chance of access from the new development coming down our private driveway and exiting out onto uh, 170? No, not no, no. Uh, not certainly not from our standpoint. That's why we're not we're not presenting it that way, because these two strips here are are really other than that they were providing access to the homes that were here or still are, uh, don't serve any good purpose to this land because there's no sewer available down here. The sewer down here that goes on in Red Rock is not deep enough to bring sewer to this point here. Will the alignment on that driveway be modified or changed in any degree? Not as far as we're concerned. Uh, if we always thought that maybe the properties on either side would acquire those two 50-foot strips. Never been it, approached. Hmm? Never, Never been, been approached. approached. Okay. But okay. The, the, the exit of uh, that private driveway onto 170, will that, which is offset from any other driveways across the street, will that same exit remain the same? If, as far as we're concerned, the access that is here today mm -hmm. will, will be the same access tomorrow, and it will serve the homes on the north and south side of that. That will, we will, that will not be connected to the internals of uh, Kemmer Summit. Okay. And this existing driveway, our, I share with our, we share with the neighbors across yes. the street, the Vogies, across the driveway. Is there any chance that uh, traffic will be funneled in any way from your new development onto that private drive? No. No. Okay. Is it true that um, the section here is just housing lots? Completely. It, there's no there's no way from a street here into here no. in the future. These will be housing lots. That, that's right. Okay. Bill, another question. On either side of that private driveway, you have a right of way. Uh, what is the status of vegetation and trees? I see the trees of, of certain girth have all been marked with a blue tag. Well, we're locating them so we know where they are. Okay. You know. Is there any chance that your uh, logger will come in and We log have no that plans off? to remove any trees in those two 50 foot strips. Okay. Any plan to run construction traffic over that? No. Which brings up my point that's a two inch lift of AC. It will not stand the gap of like right. dump trucks, equipment loaders. Right. Without serious right. damage. It's just a residential driveway. Yeah, we right. have no okay. we have no reason yeah. to bring any equipment in from there. We've got access within our internals here that we can get in and into the property and exit out and we're fine. So to add to that, the fire department will not run a fire truck up there. They park on hundred and seventieth if they have to go up to any residence up there for a medical emergency. And uh, waste management will not drive a full size uh, Trapped you, up mean, there. you mean along this along this easement in that's here? That's right. I'm telling yeah. you. Well, and, that's and that, that's a different animal. Well, it, it is an animal right. because you do have constraints about repair if you do run any trucks up there. Well, we're not going to be. I'll guarantee you, we're not I taking any access right. off of those 50-foot strips. Bill, okay. continuing one series of questions mm -hmm. here concerning the back lot of our property, uh, the west end of our pro west side of our property, which will up front your new development mm -hmm. on uh, Kimber yes. Summit there. Right. A um, few questions. Um, status of existing vegetation uh, from our property line, I, what's what, the 15 foot setback, from our property line, are you going to clear cut all from property line uh, east? If there's no reason to cut trees down for the purposes of development in rear yards and such, we probably will not cut them unless the arborist says that the removal of other trees may cause those to be weak and in a wind throw. In, we, in, yeah. these, in this vicinity here, as I've walked through this area here, there's, there's some hit and miss large trees, but I really don't see that as being a problem, but I'm not an arborist. Right. Like would we get some sort of a determination, would the trees be marked as Saved or cut? We, yes. Would we know ahead of time before your logger comes in? And Absolutely. Okay. Does this thing? We will know. And the other thing is that I'm concerned about if you're putting a retaining wall 
what it will do to the trees on our side if you damage the root system. And it's a long-term death and it's a liability. If the trees die, they fall onto homes, either ours or the ones you're developing. These lots, we're, we're, we're not proposing any retaining walls on these lots that are on the east side of this new proposed road. These lots are quite deep. There's no reason past the rear, immediate rear yard of the house to really do much any, of any changes in here. Now, that doesn't say that a homeowner couldn't come in there and do something, but from a development standpoint, we don't plan on doing anything from a retaining wall. There's no need to. Could we also request that barrier construction fence be put in on the property line prior to the logging or operation? That, that's not a problem. That actually has... I, is, is I noticed on the other side, if they, they put the barrier fence in, but after it been logged and cleared and demoed, and so I'd like it head out, set on the property line and before the logging. Well, and the on the other side, when, we, when this was cleared here, we had an erosion control fence mm -hmm. uh, all around the perimeter of where the logging was taking place. Uh, after that, some of that fence has gotten knocked down. But as we go in now for the land development phase of this, those fences will be re-erected. It'll be the same situation on Kemmer Summit, is that we'll end up with a perimeter fence for uh, erosion control capture, as well as probably orange um, identification fencing okay. that's readily easy to see rather than the black fencing. Oh, and that should remain through the course of construction. One other question for you too. We have a off the easement. We have quite an extended driveway that comes back to our garage door. Uh -huh. Probably fifty feet or more. Mm -hmm. uh, what in terms of the AC and whatnot, your your uh, property line goes right right through that mm -hmm. access driveway. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be considering demoing that driveway or any any of that uh, nature? Uh? The driveway that we'll be demoing will be on the subject site. We will not be demoing or removing or modifying any of the driveway or trees that are in those 250-foot strips. Yeah. Okay, that's the kind of question. Our driveway goes out from a garage door, then a cat picks up the the uh, uh, easement area. So, mm -hmm. access to the driveway. So. I have a few more technical questions. <laughs> okay. um, what are the block lengths in the proposed <clears throat> development, excluding extensions into an adjoining development? 1,800 feet. And what is the city stand? What is the county standard? 1,800 feet. We're doing light math. That's about. There is a block length. There, are, and the next question I have has to do with the fire department. You don't have any turnarounds. What conditions have been imposed upon the development by the fire department's review? Okay, the condition that has been imposed on this development, and I'm suspecting it probably will be on this development too because the access here is through this first development is that the homes will be sprinklered. All floors? All of them. Okay. Um, has a traffic study been performed and does that traffic study take into the increased volume of traffic on 175th for over the 55 lots and the new high school that's going down um, that's yeah. being built right now. Has that traffic study taken into account that increased volume on 175th? No. no. It's too far away from the standpoint of studying it in the impact, <coughs> considering the impact of what, what this traffic is that, going to the do. The first question was over the 55 lots that you did <coughs> the first study, you've now increased the number of lots. So has your traffic study been updated to include all of the in Increased home sites that you're proposing with these developments. The traffic, the traffic study included these 11 lots for Kemmer Ridge Number Three. It included the area of Kemmer Ridge Number Two. It did not include the area of Kemmer, Kemmer Summit. Okay. Will that study be? It, it'll be expanded. Okay. But you're saying that you're not taking into account additional traffic for, that is being generated by the new high school in your traffic it, study. Okay. Can I? May I pipe in here on this one? The county has the total, what they call a traffic impact analysis for the total of the high school, Kemmer Ridge, River Terrace, and the South Cooper Mountain complexes. But they did not, at that total picture, 
which is what helped to account for the, uh, the roundabout or signal, whatever they do at Kimmer Ridge and 175th, and also what they're doing at the South, uh, at the Coles Ferry and one se the South, what they call South 175th. Those composite one traffic impact analyses called TIA did not include the additional phases of Kemmer Ridge. Um, that's what, the latest up to date. So um, this total complex, phase, all these phases together, will generate a, instead uh, an additional thousand trips a day based on Washington County numbers. <coughs> and that is a total of 10% increase in traffic on 175th by the Washington County's normal metrics. Now, that's um, not over what the original number was for Kemmer Ridge. That's the total of all the Kemmer Ridge phases. Okay. So um, once uh, Bill McGonigal does his multiple phases, we have to figure out what the incremental difference is. But just to be aware, this is why your residents are pretty uh, upset at this point, mm -hmm. because when your first phase went in, it was for 55 homes, mm -hmm. and you had a certain number of options available to you. Now you're talking about 108 homes with more options available to you than there were when you first went in, and that's why these questions are coming up. Well, and I can certainly understand that. The short answer is, is the land that has been put under contract other than the 11 lots at the fire station, and that's still I don't think it's been. We're not belaboring it. We're just we're just making the statement. No, okay, fine. Just I'd like to make we, a statement. We didn't know what other lands were going to be available. I'd like to make a statement. Yeah. Across the street from me, there's so much wind coming from the bare land from the south that the person across the street from me is losing trees left and right. Every day he's got to go there and have somebody cut down more trees. They're either leaning because this is what's happening, or he's fearful that that's what's going to happen. And he's just taking all the big trees out. And you're oh, talking. That's why all the trees are gone. Oh. Yes, exactly. Are, are, are you talking here on this side of the road, on the west side of 175? I'm talking about 172, and across the street from that is a nice house, and next to that you're putting sewer between two houses. So you're, you're you're talking about down in here somewhere? No, I'm not. Oh, where? 172 South on camera. South side. Okay. That's 171st, that one road where you just pointed. South, to. All right, the south side, the south side of Kemmer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We are presently clearing trees right along yes, here. Yes, but the neighbor next to the clearing trees problem. Okay. He has suffered dramatic loss of trees because he's either falling, leaning, or he's concerned that they're going to fall or lean. He's just clear cutting. Okay. So the future is here already. That wind that comes up from the south through his poplar trees is already knocking out the first. Which, which piece of property are you referring to? Next to your sewer line. I'm piece sorry? of your sewer line. East of the sewer line. Oh, okay, the along the now. new sewer line. And that new sewer line is coming right up there. That's the uh, house east. So that's already happening when you want to say, okay, well, it's going to happen in the future. There's no compensation for him. I personally would like to have a bamboo fence in my yard so I don't have to have the dirt in my front yard. It's an old farmhouse living right on the street. I would like to have that provided by your company. But you're on you're on this side or over here, right? Dirt from the increased traffic, the noise. I would like to have a bamboo wall. On well I, I what I would suggest you do is to write a letter. To you? To, uh, you can write it to me if you care to, to Washington County. No, no, no. Washington County has nothing to do. I've already offered the front part of my lawn a certain piece for safety. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you as a company and the moral implication that it has for the residents that have been there. Okay. Well, the address for the developer is right there. And what I would suggest you do is pen a letter to the developer and explain what you would like, and let them respond to you. And the shells? It's not my choice. And the shells? I'm sorry? The shells. S -C oh, the shells? E -L -L. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. The shells own the property across the street from me. They left. They're part of the development. No. 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 We have an easement across the shells' property. Right. So they're part of the development. Well, we have an e No. 
We, well, I guess you could look at it. We're, I could look at that because I'm. Well, we're, we're along building the a sewer line. line along the common property line, their their line and our line, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, our developer owns the house right behind the shells. Yep. And that's how we're bringing the sewer in there. And we're so, only taking the trees down sufficient to build the sewer. We're not yeah, taking other have, trees down. Trees are coming down. I, I, live, I live on camera, the second yeah. house down mm -hmm. from the 175th. Mm -hmm. And the top of our sequoia blew off in January. Almost landed on my car. So it because, I mean, it is because that big blank area, now all of a sudden we have wind and things that... I We're understand. Not used to, and so the south wind is our strong wind. Yep. So it no, is, I, I understand. Don't, don't understand you completely. You understand it's demeaning. Okay, you don't live up there. You're right, you I do. don't. So don't say you understand that the blanket statement. Well, I, let's put it this way. No empathy, please. There's well, a hundred and seven. I'm not emphasizing don't. with you. Okay. Or, or, okay. or trying to make you feel better. I'm, I'm telling better. you that I do understand I the nature of wind throw better. on trees. I have increased traffic. There's already 20 cars waiting for the stop light, red light. I don't feel better. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Right. Like how long the construction will be going on? Like how long do you think it will take to build the houses? To build the houses? Mm -hmm. 150, however many you have. I don't know exactly how long it'll take to build the houses. Obviously, it's going to be driven by sales. I can tell you that it will take about six, seven months to build the subdivision completely. Okay. And when's it going to start? <laughs> I would love to start tomorrow, but realistically, I'm hoping uh, somewhere maybe in the first week in May, if everything oh, wow. falls falls into place. And that's so number high. one. That's but number so one. By the fall, the construction will be done in that That's our, certainly our goal. That's only number one. Okay. And at the same time that we're developing within the subdivision, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing the work on 175th and Weir mm -hmm. Road. And so when, when will the 175th start? That, you know, to lower the road? Well, it'll, I would say it would be in the same time frame as the development. So within the seven to ten months period from the time we stick a shovel in the ground, um, the 175th, it's going to make a difference, and, I, and I'll just paraphrase this. We do not want to get out into 175th when we've got a chance of having bad weather mm -hmm. for a number of different reasons, mud and, and stuff that sometimes is just impossible to, to, to control. So we're going to want to do 175th when we can control uh, the environment. That we will probably work at night uh, on some of that. Uh, to be able to go in, cut that down, get a temporary road built because we'll have to keep it open for traffic right. during the course of construction. So and open. the minute we get it down, we've got a water line to deal with. That's got to get lowered uh, because, because of where the hump is mm -hmm. there by the dog park. And so that'll be part of that construction. And when that's done, it's just going to get rocked and paved right back. Do you know how long that process will take? Well, if, if we were only building... <laughs> the minute you ask a question like that, my mind goes, well, let's see, I know we got to do here, and I know we got to do here. But if we're talking about just getting rid of the hump on 175th, that could probably be done within a two-week period. Oh, until so probably this summer. What, what about the... D uh, during the summer, you bet. Summer. Okay. What's what the size the of the water line that you're relocating? The what? The water line. What about it? What's the size? I'm sorry? The, the size. size. The size of the water line. The size line. of the water line is 12 inch. And it's, and it's a 12 inch line in Weir Road, too. It's 12 inch? That's what the water district says. Which water district? Tualatin Valley. Okay. Yes? Uh, you started on uh, the, the taking the hump down. Uh, I know I've got two questions. I want to get them both out before I get stepped on by everybody else. <laughs> Uh, the first question is, what's the cost of doing that as compared to what the cost might have been in extending Weir Road? Uh, the, the, the second one is, uh, well, let me put one in between. How many total lots are there with all of what you're planning right now? But then the third one is, how do you handle the driveway going into the dog park and the residential driveway across from that? Okay, I thought you probably weren't here. Yeah, maybe. The, oh, I'm it's sorry. Big volatile. That's okay. There's where the access presently is for the dog park, which is roughly in that location there. Right. That access will be closed okay. because oh. we're lowering it about six and a half to seven feet. Okay. 
right here at the intersection, the dog park, uh, the park district, has a driveway that presently goes in here and, and goes into their parking lot. Their conditions of approval were that when, the only reason that this was ever used is the house that was, I think it was Winkleman, um, uh, that that's where their driveway access was historically. And, uh, and so they used it right at the pinnacle of that hump because they could get sight distance there. They couldn't use this just as we can't with Weir Road without removing that hump because we're too close horizontally for the sight distance and the traveling stop mm -hmm. distance. Okay. And so the, the park district will be taking access with this new driveway or existing driveway here and we've agreed to pave that driveway for them. Okay. Are you widening it as well? Oh, we are, to 18 feet. And, and the third lane in the, the turn lane in 175th there, that's also going in, that's also widening uh, the road easement? In, yes, within, within the turn lane right here is 150 feet long. And then there are tapers that go in and out on, on either side to be able to accommodate that turn lane width. So where do you take that? Space from, yeah. It's within the existing right of way. On the north, on the east side, uh, we have 45 feet in front of the fire station. We're providing 45 feet from center line uh, across the frontage of our site. And on this side over here, it's 25 feet. So we have enough room to widen and be able to put in the turn lane. Yeah. We already have that design. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to provide you with, I wanted to go on record here about providing you with some samples of a developer doing something right. Um, at the very bottom of Weir Road, a developer has left mature trees, um, polygon homes. So I'm petitioning and hoping that you will leave the oak trees and some of the other mature trees. These are brand new homes that they put up and left the mature trees. I have some examples. Um, and at, put at them the bottom there. of where? At the bottom of Weir, at Murray. At Murray. It's called Summer Falls. Oh, I see. Okay. And they left the oh, big mature the trees, so they put down a picnic bench, and it's right by the bus stop. Very beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it's Wonderful. quite beautiful. Yeah. And um, I, have, like I mentioned to a couple people who are in pretty big positions in, in legislature or in uh, a couple of environmentalists and say, oh, yeah, I know that in development. Didn't they do a great job? And they left. I mean, it didn't take much. And there's a, a THPRD little playground in the environment. And they could... It's, it's, a, it's, it's sad, but it's very noticeable when you can spot a development where it's a brand new development, mm -hmm. but they could leave the, just at the, at the edges. So you could leave that oak tree, which is as a mature Oregon oak, oak tree, which is very important in our Agreed. White mountain, oak. Yep. The white oak. And they left the oak And green. the other thing they left, what, well, I'm sure this was pressure from, this is the one thing Beaverton did right, i got to say, um, and the uh, Clean Water Services, the wetlands, they actually put in, when they extend a rear, rear road, just like you're doing it over the wetlands, they put in a wildlife crossing. Now, it doesn't have to be big enough for a deer, but it can be big enough for turtles and for other reptiles. reptiles because there's a wildlife mm -hmm. thing. So yeah. it's doable. It's real easy. Um, Polygon Homes does it a lot. They don't, they're moving it around River Terrace, too. Yes, they pulled out trees. I remember them taking down some trees. But they did leave mature trees mm -hmm. up there. And when they do... A lot of the residents do take notice and are very appreciative. Um, they forget about some of the big trees they had to take down, but they definitely remember the trees that they left up. Well, I think you'll be extremely pleased when you see the landscaping that's going to take place in the wetland and the buffer here, where right now there's nothing there other than a random tree. Um, this is going to be really heavily landscaped. We really appreciate the native chaparral that are essential to keep Cooper Mountain Nature Park populated. Mm -hmm. Because the, the buffer zone around the, the nature park are essential to keep the animals that are essential for the nature park. Putting in new pretty plants and ornamentals, those are not essential. The native chaparral are essential. So I'm going to leave this with you just as a okay. reminder. Sure. And you can show that to um, the, the owner. Yeah. Um, well, we don't have any conditions like this, and, and you know, the, they, no, were, dealing, they no. were dealing with the waters of the state, right. as are we. Right, but you do and, have those but, mature white oaks, and yeah. you do have those trees up on the top of the ridge, so mm -hmm. before you bring your loggers in, 
um, you can build around that, and it makes it, those homes went like that, because the people could move into an existing environment that was already shady, mm -hmm. a lot cheaper to, no air conditioning needed. Well, and, and we have some trees, white oaks, and a, and a silver spruce, I think, that are right down in this vicinity here that we're planning on saving. Please keep them. Those are the ones we're speaking about. Yeah. Yes. You, your residents would be very happy. Yep. Well, that, you know. It might block we, some of the noise from the you, you know, one of the gentlemen here said, I think it was this gentleman over here, said that 25 years ago, this land was designated for R6. Yes. You know, well, you don't take R6 land and for all intents and purposes save big native trees. You just don't do it within the areas of the lots. Yes. They're, they're, just, they're building homes that pretty well fill it up. You know, the, the lady said to me one time, she says, there's not enough room in the backyard to swing a cat by the tail. And, uh, and that's true. The, there isn't anything that we can do about it. We have to meet the 80% density factor. Uh, we, we're not even at 80%. In, we're just right at 80% here. We could be denser. But what they did is they built smaller backyards mm -hmm. and they allowed play areas for the kids. And that's, that's what Councillor Harrington mm -hmm. has as her, her model. At Metro is because the kids will play in the the cul-de-sacs and all mm -hmm. the other areas, mm -hmm. and you just put a little bit smaller backyard like you described. Mm -hmm. What's the that's a question here. She's had a hand up for yeah. the What's the average lot size and the anticipated price for the homes? Lot sizes run from forty-five hundred to maybe six thousand, depending on where they are mm -hmm. in their configuration. Price? I don't know. That's not. But I do. In blue. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Question. Was, it sounded like maybe there was a meeting where you talked about what's going to happen with, when you lower the roads. Is that true? Did we miss a meeting about that? On 175th? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like well, the dog park, you know, I've been to road? three or four of these, and we talked about the, the first meeting I think I went to, the, the primary concern was 175th, and people running into each other. And uh, driving 60 miles an hour and coming over the top of that hill and right. people hitting right. people in the rear. Right. And that was live. one of the motivating factors of right. saying, well, you know, maybe we can do something here. Right. And our driveway is the driveway that's right across from the dog park. So we, uh -huh. <laughs> we're going to be the one who use that. Uh, and it's going to go. You never leave your house this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you get to schedule your coming and going from, from 4 to 6 p.m. You don't get to leave your house? I'm, I'm wondering maybe oh, we have some kind meeting because we haven't heard anything about And, wh and where, where, you're, where your driveway is, your driveway slopes down mm -hmm. from the road. Mm -hmm. By the time we cut that road down, it will actually flatten that area. So we're going to we're gonna have to flatten that driveway? We will. We will go on to your property with your permission, of course, we have to keep your driveway open and we're certainly going to do that. We have a couple of others that we have to deal with. It's just a function of cutting that road down and then making sure that people have got an access similar like to what they have today. Along our road that we're going to take it down, are you taking the trees out there along the way? Uh, there won't really be, the road isn't going to get really any wider. It isn't going to get any wider. Uh, there will be a cut slope uh, along where the dog park is because of the hillside that runs there. So we'll be cutting that slope down, but there aren't any trees there right now. There's a power pole that's got to get lowered. Shouldn't, shouldn't a resident such as, such as that be have been contacted? That's what I was just going to ask. How can you be How planning so, so many things? Oh, what is that turn? Turn? I do not know. should have thought of that myself. Do I? I should have thought of that myself. What a novel idea. Shouldn't the residents be contacted? How can you well, do that? I'm not in this meeting. Okay, I'll, I'll, no, no. I'll, I'll try and answer that. It's the meeting notice is, is, is parallel to the road. You have to be looking left or right to see the notice of the meeting. Mm -hmm. That's you true. cannot notice it yeah. if you're just driving along yeah. and paying attention to the squirrels on the road. Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? The, the, the short answer is, is through, the, through the design process with the county, which we are now through, and as we receive the final approval on the plans, is when we would come and talk to the people along the way we have talked to, I think it's the Broussard. The Broussard, they're our only neighbor. We're the two that up yes, the road. Yes, right. I'm so you're talking to one neighbor. <coughs> yeah, the Broussards are right here, and right. their driveway right now enters right there. Right. 
and that isn't going to work. So we've been working with them to relocate their driveway here, and that's quite an extensive driveway relocation because of the slope down into their land. Mm -hmm. Where your land is, we looked at that early on, and we said that's, that's not much because when we cut it down, it actually flattens your access. So, we're so we'll have to move like our little bus house. We're waiting for our fence and our trees are going to go that are along the road. I don't think there should be any any trees uh, other than some brush, uh, maybe a little bit of brush along there. But we're really not looking at, at expanding like the, the width of the road. We're just trying to get it down pretty much in the same in the same lens that it is right now and drop it six and a half feet or so. To take trees, that hump out of there and then feather it out for a few hundred feet on either side. So your work would not affect her property at all, is that what you're saying? As far as getting onto her property, other than uh, some gravel uh, and making her driveway serviceable, no. Are your trees right We won't be outside the, the right-of-way. When they drop the road, your trees are going to drop with them. Trees, no, the trees, trees that are, trees that may be within the right of way. There you go. Yeah. Trees that's that true. may be within the right of way that are on that's what is county property. county property. If if we get into the root system, mm -hmm. and they're considered that they're going to have to go, they will go. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're not, we're not about to take them down. And well, the county could the say to us, down. take it down anyway. Yeah. So yeah. we've run into that. Yes, sir. I just came from the Washington County meeting where they were talking about 175th. Huh. They said that is a 45 mile an hour arterial. Yes. Right. Are you, do you believe that cutting down six and a half to seven feet, as you mentioned, is enough to stop the traffic or to give the sight distance at 45 miles an hour? Yes, it is. They go 60. Yeah, I was say yes, it is. They do not go 45. And so also your chick. We're feathering that out a few hundred feet on either side of that, huh? Is, is that Yes, ma'am. So presently, <laughs> it, presently, it looks like that. Yes, it does. When we're done, it's going to almost be a straight line across the top. There's still two other routes. So, so, yeah, yeah, so it'll fix those. There's still two other routes. We've been appealing to the ODOT for a long time. <laughs> so the other meeting that we were just at that had talked about the possibility of relocating, doing a circle and stuff, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of the intersection, roundabout. you guys know more about it than I do. Well, <laughs> the roundabout, right? The roundabout. So the question is: so you're making all these plans, but you obviously know that they are making those. Cons they're they're looking at three different plans for 175th that intersection. Right. So you are making your plans without coordinating what they're going to do. Well, they don't. Touch well, each other. they're. they're no, well, they both come together. Well, they, well, they, they all the, come together there. Yeah. Well, Actually, you're the connector. <laughs> <laughs> the, the road's connected, but it, you might say it's the activities are disconnected. What happens here at, at Kemmer and, and uh, 175th is probably in just in about what that red circle is right there. We're clear down here. That's not clear no, down here. No, no, no. Your, your property is 600 feet from the intersection. <coughs> yeah. well, I understand. Yeah, 600 so. feet from that intersection. And you... We'll put on a thousand trips a day onto 175. No, she was talking about the construction. I'm talking about yes. Oh. That if they move that intersection, if and and according to the designs, catch me if I'm wrong, Steve. Yeah. According to the designs, it looks like they're going to possibly alter 175, uh -huh. moving away, you know, to the west. Yeah, right, south. right, um, and south, and, and south, and south, right, right. The intersection. So instead of right. going straight to Kimmer. Mm -hmm. It's going to kind of veer off to the yeah. southwest. Mm -hmm. So that would affect your roads and how they come out and all no. No. travel on it. it no. Like I say. But a year apart. Uh, right, so if they, if I am generally aware years? of what they've been talking about. I haven't seen anything. They haven't contacted us about any, <laughs> any possibility of involvement with, with our property as, as effect on it. There hasn't been any conversation at all. Those are really a year apart, and they're far enough. Yeah. That was far enough from the intersection. To, to yeah. So yours is going to be done really before that next one. Yeah. 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 Right. So and, and Stephen Roberts and Washington County Land Use and Transportation is very familiar with what the Kemmer Ridge project is, and with the roundabout uh, 175th and Kemmer right. project. So, so at least Washington County is aware of the projects. And, and the details of both. So they're going to take this into the consideration when they make their sure. design decision there. Right, and they're familiar with all of the traffic impact analyses of all these different 
things and the road being yeah. lowered and all that. Unfortunately, right. the engineer who was devising those plans in the other meeting said he was not taking into account the new traffic. Which engineer were you speaking of? Okay. I, I don't know if people know who I, I keep speaking out. My name is Fran Warren and I'm from 175th Set Neighborhood Association and we attend a lot of county meetings and a lot of these other meetings. No, this is an engineering firm. For oh, oh the engineering firm. firm. So he's looking at the one piece of road and at he's looking at the civil engineer who's looking at the details of the metrics of that one piece of road. Right. And he's being given direction from Washington County Land Use and Transportation, right. who's looking at the big picture. Right, so, so the engineering firm was not looking at the additional traffic, not the additional traffic, but the consequences of a thousand trips coming in from... But uh, he's only looking at correct, the, the correct. little piece of road. Yeah, the county may be aware of it, but right. the engineering firm was definitely not taking it into account. But he told me that. Okay. Well, the, let me, one of, the, one of the gentlemen here, I think it was this gentleman here, mentioned that, and, and I'm sure you folks know, that 175th is an arterial. When it's built to its ultimate uh, cross-section, mm -hmm. it'll handle somewhere between 18 and 24,000 cars a day. Mm -hmm. Also, Kemmer is an arterial. It is. And when they decide to handle, quote, all that traffic in the future, well, I understand what you're saying, and, and the, the, the big limitation, I don't know why Kemmer's an arterial, I'll be very frank with you. But, because we wrote in this process as well, the, the reason as promised 37 years ago, the, when I bought we worked, the property. We worked on a project a few years ago up in this vicinity here, up in Beaverton. And at that time, at that time, the city of Beaverton said in Washington County had the grand scheme of bringing a, a road along yeah, through here that would connect to camera Morris. up in here and, and cut across in this property yeah. and this property over here right. and uh, in the words of the owner that owns that it'll be a cold day in hell when that happens right. and, and but, but that's that's where oh, you're embarrassing me that's that's, 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 where, that's where that road is supposed to go someday these are my great friends and they've been champions yes. at making sure that yes. it's still a livable um, environment you guys have just taken in, just, it's, it's done. You guys have no consideration for the people that live on camera, although you don't know why camera's an arterial. We wrote I do know why no. it's an arterial. You I, just said you didn't know. I said I didn't know why they ever planned on bringing that, if, if you're no. so familiar with the area, you if you, you look at the topography in here, camera. if you look at the topography in right here, that is that is a big big expense to try and build a road through there. So is we a road, but you've made your choice to go ahead and make all the improvements and get the hump down. You won't make it the improvement on we road. You're already spending more than just a couple extra thousand dollars on one seventy. Well, we're we're building we road adjacent to our development. That's right. That's and we're all, taking that's down the hump of the safety do. improvement. That's all you have to do according to Washington County. Sidewalks won't be connected. It's going to be just in front of your property. There is no safety for the community. Well, you, 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 you know, you, you, you do bring up a good point. It doesn't matter whether I bring up a good point or not. You're not going to do anything about it. No, well, let me, let me mention something to you. I asked Washington County if the fire station here was conditioned on putting in sidewalks. And then they're, and they're under a, a safety... Uh, uh, redevelopment right now, and they said no. They were not conditioned to do it because what their activity is in their reworking of the fire station didn't raise rise uh, to the point of being able to have them build sidewalks. Promises which I are hard to be broken. We have roads will not go through, which would take the congestion off of Cameron. Well, where road will go through someday? I okay. Listen, I suspect. you said it already. I've been here 37 years. It hasn't happened. What do I have to well, do, 75? It, you know, society follows follows the sewer, and as the sewer comes into these areas, you know, and that area comes into the urban growth boundary, it's going to put pressure to build that road. Uh, it's, uh, we're about 7.15 or so, so we're past the, at least the budgeted time. If there's something that somebody really needs. I have a question. Yes, certainly. 
So, um, I live south of the firehouse down on Siler, originally, and I've been noticing as I drive around, that going around Kendall and 78th and down Weir, that there's a house for sale over there. Um, I believe it's I believe it's the house, the property just directly adjacent to the red line outlined area. That one. That one. Oh, okay. That house is for sale. <laughs> If you were to buy the house, scarf up its flag driveway, would that give you enough easement going that way to uh, not have to build a huge retaining wall and tear it doesn't down solve, It doesn't solve the property on the other side. Right, but you're, what you're doing is you're extending it a good 10, 20 feet it, it, to the north. Of another 13, 17 feet, yeah. It, it would help uh, quite a bit. We, that I house is for sale right now. I know, you're missing an opportunity. We, they, we had an offer on it. He wants a lot of money for it. Yeah, I know. And but you could turn right around and sell it. <laughs> well, maybe. I think it probably won't be worth as much when that road's there. Well, <laughs> you know, you know. So, but that was you should that was look at that. And we did. If you can go cheaper that way, if you buy that house, our developer turn did. around and sell it. Our developer did look at Marty. We did a bit. We did look at it right. But we still had. It sounds cheaper than yeah. making the one seventy fifth on the shorter yeah. of the lights. Well, yeah. 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 I don't know if you were here, but we offered, or the, I say we, the developer offered uh, to pay them for the right of way. I know, but you could buy the whole house. And, and, and there was an offer to buy the house, and it was, they were too far apart. Yeah, the other thing so, that you know, you know, the house is, you know, where the house is sited in relationship to the balance of the land that's developable, sort of in the wrong <coughs> spot. Right. So buy the whole thing, tear it down, put the road in, and tear it down, and tear it down, and put three houses in, and buy the house. But it, I think they want eight hundred some thousand dollars for it. I think it was way less than that. Right. So, not, that's not what I do. Right. So, Pass it along. You're missing an opportunity. I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you very much for coming, folks. Thank you, Fran. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm aware of, of this, and, uh, and you know, I, and I looked at it when it was going, and I know, I know what Beaver would require the folks to do. Yes, I understand. I don't think you'll have to do it. I'm not used to it. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they are and I've been and I've been tardy about coming back. I was dealing with the Broussard because they've got a difficult driveway. Yeah. Sure, directly across the road right here. Yeah. Right. Well, I know exactly where we are. We've got it tied in, surveyed in. We know where it is. We know what the issue is. Yeah. Um, I think I've got a little more than one for a second. We're not going to talk about the whole time. You're welcome. Thank you. I live in the I have no, I did not know that. No, I did not. We have not received, and my owner has not received any, and he owns the land. He hasn't received any over here. We have a hard time This is good. What do you mean? If you could ask the developer to respond to this.
I know I did. Oh, we're, we're on the way to the airport, and I said, what about the pillow? And she said, oh, my God, what did it cost you? 